Hi, everyone. Welcome. You know, in a time where emotional instability is at an all time high, suicide rate, unfortunately, has taken the lives of many of our friends, family members. COVID is no less. What an interesting time period that we're witnessing ourselves in. We need some healing. And it's not because things seem so incredibly intense that the healing needs to occur now more than ever. It's because we've been always wanting to heal ourselves for a very long time. But now we're getting pushed more and more into this personal sense of accountability and responsibility. Today, I'm so glad to have two of my buddies to hear about this wonderful adventure that they're going on called Om Heals. Jennifer and Moon have just recently launched their platform called Om Heals. And I would love for both of you to tell us a little bit about what is Om Heals. Well, Ohm Heals is really a platform that custom matches energy practitioners around the world with users around the world based on a matchmaking formula that was developed in-house. And so Jen and I are very passionate about the energy medicine space and really want to bring it out into the world, but we wanted to do it in a mindful way. And so the custom matching was very, very important because we understand that even though a energy practitioner may be good, they may not be the best pra uh, practitioner for that particular user. And so mm -hmm. this is where we believe we're unique. Oh, yeah. You know what? I tried something like that for my mother who was going through some stages with dementia and so on. And I went on one of these online apps because it would be on her own time. But everyone that we found didn't match what her needs were. And I remembered how frustrating it was because we had to put a lot of money into it and still they didn't do whatever it was that we were at least hoping they would do. And what I like is that you're matching the individuals, the clients with the practitioner. Jennifer, you know, tell us a little bit about how, why is it that you both chose to create um, Heals? Like what problem is it solving? In today's day and age, Sister Jenna, we are in an unprecedented time. In fact, I recently got an email from Bruce Lipton saying, you know, it's an unprecedented global crisis that's happening in the healthcare system. And what's beautiful about this crisis is that there's a rebirth happening. Complementary and alternative medicine is projected to be a 400 plus billion dollar market in the next several years. And what that means is more than ever, it, people want to heal themselves. And the most important thing that I think I wanna relay is that we are already whole, complete and perfect. And when you're working with somebody who might be an energy medicine practitioner, a therapist, anything you might be wanting support with, they're reflecting back to you the whole state that you already exist perfectly in. And so the problem that Moon and I wanna solve is supporting people with anxiety, depression, PTSD, as you referenced, Sister Jenna, millions of people are dying from horrible things related to suicide and, and people feel more lonely than we ever have before. What if somebody could show you the perfectness of your soul reflected back to you through their eyes? Just yesterday, I was on a call with a wonderful gentleman, Scott Katamas, who shared with me the story of Jesus and how he would sit with a leper. And he would just first sit down and say to the leper, I want to hear your story. And at first, the leper is like, oh, God, no, not me. I I'm broken. But as the leper would open up and as Jesus would become more and more intimate with him, then in that moment, Jesus would reflect back to the leper that perfect health and wholeness. And when that happens, that's what had the magical healing happen during Jesus's time was him seeing them as whole and complete. And for the first time ever, the people in that case, the leper, seeing themselves as whole and complete. And so mm -hmm. at some level, I think we all see ourselves as lepers. We're not good enough. We're not worthy. This is what leads to anxiety and depression among a multitude of other things. And that is our dream. It is our dream here at Ohm Heals that you know at your core that your soul is perfect and pure. And we want to show that to you. Thank you so much. Coming from an Indian background, I'm aware of the importance of the universal sound of Ohm, mm -hmm. but also its healing um, abilities, uh, mentally, physically, emotionally, environmentally. If the whole world chanted 
om, I can only imagine what would happen. So when you're looking at it as om heals, how did you come up with the name? How did you put those two together? Moon. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, because I've been on my spiritual path for over 20 years because due to the due to the death of my late sister son whom I say died due to years of stress and unhappiness and cancer was just her symptom I've been on a spiritual journey for many many years and doing my you know yin and yang living blogs on spiritual and holistic living and when the pandemic hit I thought oh wow if we could match make these energy practitioners with users around the world and so I was thinking about the universal truth, uh, the word that speaks to healing and the universal truth of who we really are and our existence, this existential existence of an eternal beingness. And for me, it was, oh, it just came so naturally. And then, you know, and the heals. And then so I put those two words together. And then I convinced Jen to come on board. <laughs> because... Uh, <laughs> Because, you know, Jin is, you know, I always say I'm the yang, she's the yin, I'm the yin, and she's the yang, I should say, I'm the yin, she's the yang. So when Jen came on board, you know, the om is that circle, and in that circle, you'll see sort of the yin and yang symbol, and I say I'm the yin, and she's the yang, and so when she came on board, it just completed that circle. Mm. You know, I know how you both met, because one of the blessings I've had is being the host for America Meditating Radio. And you both might not know this, but many of the decisions I make with who comes on board in America Meditating happens by what I see in your eyes when I'm actually looking at your story or a producer or a friend or someone will send to me, hey, this is what this person, I think this one might be good for America Meditating. But what I love the most is not only coming into the vortex of this world of America Meditating, but it's to hear the enormous um, growth and activities and, and gifts that individuals actually co-create. And both of you met because you were both guests on America Meditating Radio, but you've taken this to a whole other level. <laughs> so how did, the, how did the business partnership come about? Well, I, as you know, Jen, you, you answered this one. <laughs> it was a funny story, Sister Jenna. I had built and sold my first company and sometimes the corporate world can be a little bit disheartening because for me, it's all about consciousness and business and how do we bring that to the forefront of all businesses? And so I had actually taken a sabbatical. I was living in Paris at the moment and London actually, when you inadvertently introduced Moon and I, and I just sent Moon a follow-up. You had put us in a breakout room at your meditation retreat and I just liked Moon's energy and I sent her a follow-up on LinkedIn and fast forward a few months later, I was in Paris minding my own business, going on five hour croissant hunts and just enjoying being a human being. And then Moon pops up and she says, oh, Jen, you know, we had met and I missed this message. Do you want to hop on a call? And Moon is my soulmate in business. So the moment we hopped on the first call, it was just boom, kismet. I, I personally believe that we have personal soulmates, healer soulmates, love soulmates, business soulmates. And in my case, Moon is my business soulmate. So after that initial call, it was very challenging for me because I had my reticence about going back into the business world. And I reflected and I prayed and I said, God, are you sure? Are you absolutely sure I'm meant to go on this journey with Moon? <laughs> and God kept saying, yes. And I'm like, are you sure? You're absolutely. I could do this <laughs> croissant hunt thing every day in Paris for the rest of my life. <laughs> and God's like, no, you have a mission and it's with Moon. <laughs> so that was how it came together. And what is so what is so beautiful what happened and we met because of the pandemic because you you uh, created that online retreat because you couldn't do it on site that's how Jen and I met I always say we met because of the pandemic is that <laughs> what was so what was so what was so beautiful is that um, it was we met during the pandemic and then we actually created the company online like we didn't even meet in person we incorporated the company we did all of that virtually and so our office is all virtual mm. well i love what you said you know um before we came on for this interview you gave blessings to zoom and i gave blessings to the wi-fi inventor and the hdmi <laughs> and the person who made the camera lens <laughs> and all of these things so looking at the long-term vision for om heels when both of you sit in your quiet corners alone 
and you think about Ohm Heals, what do you see in its long-term vision for the next five years, 10 years, maybe? Yeah, well, I'll answer that first and then Jen can answer that. What I see, and I think Jen and I are on the same page and that's why we're on this journey because we have to be on the same page. It's a spiritual soul path for each one of us. And so what we see is, and I'm going to, I think Jen would agree with this, is that we want to make energy medicine accessible to everyone because you have to pay cash for it. And so we see in the long term is creating a scholarship fund where for those who can't afford energy medicine, that they can still have access to it. And so I really mm -hmm. see that as a long term goal is to create have the company be healthy enough where we can supply energy sessions or, you know, uh, gift energy sessions to anybody who wants it. Mm, beautiful. Yes. Jennifer? A hundred percent, Sister Jenna. And we've already begun doing that in the months, uh, a couple of months this year, we've been matching for every purchase made on the platform. We've been gifting a session to a veteran. And the way the community has gotten behind this uh, people just donating on the website to want to gift sessions to veterans, healers offering to donate their time. There's this desire in our hearts that we want every single person who wants to have access to it to be able to have that and to be able to know that it's safe to heal. And some of these healers that we're working with, there's such a beautiful rainbow of color, shapes, sizes. We have healers in Morocco, Paris, India, you know, the UK, all over the continent and all over the world, actually, Australia as well and India. And what's really coming together, Sister Jenna, is there someone out there for everyone? And the question is, what is the amount of variability that is uncomfortable yet still comfortable for you? And that's really the thing that we're finessing. You know, when you're working with any sort of therapist, energy healer or otherwise, that level of personal intimacy that comes up requires a safe space. So you need somebody who maybe is three to 5% different than you, but who you still feel safe enough with to unveil, to unravel those things that might've been haunting you since you were a child. Mm, beautiful. Well, you know, this is so good for the Ohm Heels to be launching and in, in not really launching, but building more momentum in 2022 and beyond. I really feel that this is the year of healing and we're moving towards a particular paradigm where our culture will begin to get addicted to being healed rather than to be in pain. Thank you guys for sharing with us a little bit about what Om Heals really stands for. I know there's so much more to it than meets the eye, but what's the best contact information? What's the best website or app address yeah. that individuals can get the product or you know download it? They can go to our website at om-heals.com, om-heals.com, and they fill out a questionnaire form with a set of questions, and then we custom match them with the energy practitioners that we believe would be the best uh, successful session between the practitioner and the user. So om-heals.com. And if Beautiful. I may add, every Sunday at 11 a.m. PT, 2 p.m. ET, we interview energy medicine practitioners from around the world on Clubhouse. So look up the Ohm Heals room or feel free to pop in on a Sunday if you're around. And it's a lot of fun because you get a taste of it. And the matching right now, it's completely free. You just go online, you get your matches, and then you can choose. Do you want a healer out of Australia? Do you want a healer out of Morocco? Or if you're the sort of person where you think, you know, I'm the sort of person where I know what I want, we also will have a practitioner list where you can just sort through and find the practitioner who resonates most with your soul. Mm, beautiful. Well, congratulations, ladies. A lot of success. May every, every person, every soul that finds Om heals, heals. <laughs>